Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a place further than the universe episode number five reaction. All right, um, the previous episode, Mari had to get permission from her parents, and <laughs> she, she that that was like one of the most what can I say relatable like you know thing that I have seen. Uh, because I do remember myself also being part of that like you know same situation asking permission from my parents about something uh, <laughs> and you see how her mother gets pissed off because you know she had to learn everything from the neighbors because she like you know Mari did not tell her and she wrote the application herself and even did the stamps and everything obviously it's going to piss her off because yeah that's not what you're supposed to do <laughs> so yeah like she now has to like you know pass in every subject and then like you know she'll be able to go so she she has like you know mari has a lot of things to do she has to uh, earn money you know go, go to part time for the, the money you need to like you know like for the antarctica expedition um part time earn money uh study uh, do like you know give a good test and even go to the summer camp that they're having you know in uh the summer training not so summer camp summer training and uh yeah with all that stuff we see <laughs> and then like you know in the summer uh, camp we see how they are actually like you know letting us know uh and like, learn like you know keep giving us information uh like you know theoretical information practical information about what we're supposed to do in, in antarctica we meet the captain todo gin who is who is uh, acquainted with uh, Shirase? She was a high school friend of her mom, and uh, Shirase kind of recalls how, like you know, she only came back, and her mom did not. Um, like you know, like she recalls that, uh, kind of talks with her, like you know, to her friends about it, and uh, yeah, they do the practical things as well. You know, kind of like you know, uh, measuring, putting in flags and uh, using the compass transmitters all that stuff they do and even like camping like you know like all like it's like a full simulation of what's going to happen in antarctica and uh in the morning like you know like mari comes out sees the sun sunrise todo Gin is also there and she like you know when when asked that why are you doing like you know why are you uh participating in this she says that at first i was just i was i was doing this just because i wanted to do something with my youth but now uh because of my friends like i wouldn't be here if my friends wasn't here so my you know my 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 uh, what do you call it my motivation changed so anyways that was the uh, the previous episode let's see what this episode brings what more preparations we have to do uh before we set out to our expedition so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number four of a place further than the universe i'll be uh no sorry episode five sorry episode five sorry i'm <laughs> uh i made a mistake but yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go There you go. The whole school knows now. Who's laughing now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. There you go. All right. Wait, who's this? Is that Megumin? Oh, what? Okay, yeah, that is Megumin. Hmm. all right we kind of saw this in the previous episode as well you know the ending scene where um mari tells her that yeah we are definitely going you know he, like he kind she kind of 
kind of looks and not looks but it's like in a weird mood <sighs> i love the way she does it just told like you know in front of the school she's like yeah we're going <laughs> and that's it <laughs> uh, i was thinking she was going to say something like yeah there you go i said we'll go and yeah we're going i thought he was going to she was going to say some kind, kind of snarky comment like that or something but no she kept it simple and yeah <clears throat> All right, dear my friend. Oh. Oh. Penguin Manju go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> her her person. <laughs> okay, I'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well oh no enemy okay makes sense <laughs> oh boy All right. Hundred kilograms. Okay. Wait, so nah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So people who are lighter, they'll be able to pack more things. I think she's lying. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's a lot of things. My God. So, no. 70. Wow. <laughs> Wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. F yeah. <laughs> yes. No need. No need. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Okay.
Yeah, exactly. Like he's she's putting in random stuff. <laughs> hmm. Adult. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Okay, you can take. I, I think she can. Yeah, she can take that. It's just it's like just for some entertainment. Oh wait, what? Oh, I thought she was going to take. Okay, never mind. Who knows? Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's only game I ever bet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, she does it, okay. Mm. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Yeah, she, she is not thinking. Yeah, the change, okay. Oh my god, come on. Oh no. Uh, mm. 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 Well. Ugh. Human mind, you know, like nothing you can do about it. Like she's feeling, feeling left out. I can understand that, you know, like nothing you can do about it. They've, they've been friends from, you know, childhood. So <sighs> it's complicated. Yuri Chan, Aina, delete. Oh, those girls. All right, we are backed up, kind of. <laughs> Eyes, what? <laughs> you? Okay. Weird rumors going around. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Hmm. <laughs> Well, obviously, they're going to Antarctica. Yeah. Still, yeah, true, you know. Hmm. 
Ah. Wait, who the hell is saying that? What the? Oh, they're here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God, this is getting into a messy situation. I'm pretty sure she made that up. I think so. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe, she, oh, no, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she she said. Okay, well, I don't know. I feel like Megumi kind of made that up, like, or maybe exaggerated it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a tap. Okay, never mind. Wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Tanuki Neko. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She's not going to say. <laughs> okay, there you go. Wow, that kind of cut off. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. And she wanted that, Megumi. <sighs> what? Who's this? Okay. Wow, that's a lot of pudding. 
<laughs> okay, the photo, they, they, yeah, oh, okay, this one. <laughs> Wake up. Oh boy. Okay, it's today, isn't it? Or Yeah, it is today. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Oh, they're here. Oh, okay. No, no. I thought they're here. Oh, yeah. She thought she already left. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, there she is. I was thinking she she's probably she'll probably be here. Oh boy. Okay, so she she made that up. Wait, what? Oh, I thought she. Oh my god, I did not realize that. Oh, I thought she did only. Oh my god. <sighs> oh boy yes it was she Come on, don't, don't, like, I don't, oh my god, like, resolve this here and now, like, I don't think she should go before resolving this. Alright, come on. Resolve this first, like, I don't know. Oh my god, like this, like...
Okay, there you go. <laughs> Wow. Oh boy, this was a ah. Uh... <sighs> okay, this was a good one. Oh, well. <sighs> All right, so I I I had this feeling like in, even in the previous episode, uh almost at the end that she like Megumi is being bothered by this. Like you know that that last scene was extremely weird. Like where they sh like shows us that she's watching like you know looking at that picture and then like you know they kind of zoom out on her like, that was a really weird like you know ending scene so i i i kind of thought like maybe she's being bothered by this or something and yeah it turns out to be right like like the thing that she said like it's this is one thing like you know what can i say like you can't do anything like this is a weird weird type of envy like this this thing that we saw in this episode it's not fully envy because there's genuine care in it as well but at the same time it is like kind of okay i'll talk about it just let's just watch the last scene what is this is this an, oh this is um okay yeah okay then they're out australia i think uh, all right uh, so yeah as i was saying so this is a weird type of envy that we saw it's not full envy there's parts of envy mixed into genuine love and care and that was what it was basically and all right okay let's talk about this one like you know after the other now obviously the first thing we see is that they are on top of stage and the school is announcing that yeah these two girls they're going to antarctica <clears throat> now i'm pretty sure this is a very big thing because obviously they're high school girls they're going to antarctica this is something that never i think it never happened before it's like the first time it's ever happening um so this is a big deal and yeah like <laughs> like all the people who were talking bad about them and everything <laughs> i wonder what face they were making while standing in front of like you know like uh, uh, not in front sorry but in, in in this place like you know looking up on the stage looking at um mari and shirase i wonder what face they were making or what they were thinking <laughs> my god oh but yeah like they kept it nice and short she just says like yeah we're going that's it <laughs> and okay and then we get a little flashback of megu and mari where we see how mari was kind of dependent on megu and megu kind of like you know had this pride within her that yeah i'm like her big sister you know and like this is the thing you know this like you know this thing where someone feels that oh this person she's dependent on me I like that you know um i'm like her big sister but it kind of changes little by little where by the end you actually understand that no she was not dependent on me it was i who was dependent on her she's moving away she is walking her own path and i cannot let go of that that was basically megu's uh like you know story that was basically what happened what what she felt and what was actually going on up until this time which i kind of realized by the middle of this episode i realized what she was trying to do and what was happening and 
this is a very weird like you know weird type of an emotion it's it has genuine love and care within it and at the same time it has like you know hints of envy jealousy and you know like sadness so this is this is this is something and this this thing comes from genuine like you know uh, love and care because she was her friend she was her, such a good friend of hers that's why you know like this this actually happened she she felt this way okay so like no one's to blame here you know like you you can't say that oh she, like you know megu was being selfish no you cannot say that this is this is something completely different this is not being selfish this is something different this is a different type of an emotion and i feel like i feel like ev not everyone but i'm i'm sure a lot of people probably has experienced this type of an emotion where you think that like you know there was like someone who always like uh like you know followed you around you know like kind of like where you're like where like your little brother or sister you know like did whatever you told them to and you 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 were kind of like a, a you know like someone like you know someone like a, like an elder sibling to them and then suddenly you realize that oh like you know like she or he is doing like you know kind of walking their own path and you realize that yeah like i don't like that it's as if like you know we walked the same path and now uh, that person is starting to walk their own path and i'm all alone i don't know what to do that person has started walking their own path with some new friends and i'm just stuck here you know and when she'll start when she or, she or he will start walking their own path i'll be just stuck here with no one you know all this time like you know i i was like their elder sibling and now like you know i'll be alone like this this thing this is this is not selfishness and neither this is jealousy this is like a mixture of everything and uh, this is quite normal you know and all right so okay uh, okay let's talk about the next scene we see um what's what's she uh, yeah she has say uh, yuzuki <laughs> Hinata, they were like, uh, not Hinata, sorry, Mari, or was it Hinata? No, Mari, 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 Shirase, and um, Yuzuki. They were like, you know, like kind of doing a little. Um, I'm guessing that was like a what do you call it? I'm not sure, like a com not commercial, but you know, they were kind of recording their thing, and this is like I'm, I'm guessing like a vlog or a video, like you know, thing that they are doing where they are here like oh we are currently in 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 the port here we are here we can see the ship the big ship which has been okay um uh, what was they changed the name didn't they let me check that part out again okay um this is a new antarctic icebreaker ship uh, a ship modified from the shirase 2 the shichi shichi shinya me, penguin manju okay the basic performance hasn't changed but there have been some internal modification <clears throat> and as you can see it has a big external makeover yeah so they kind of like you know kind of made it uh, a different like you know kind of upgraded it and stuff and that's why i also changed the name okay so yeah like they are kind of doing that and obviously yuzuki is very comfortable on, in front of camera she can just she's like oh look at this you know like we are here and like you know just, just like how like a narrator kind of narrates the thing <laughs> while shirase is just looking on like you know under <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the ground like you know cannot say anything and mari is i think pretty normal i guess she's just standing there <laughs> so yeah shirase was the one who was mostly affected she just could not say anything properly and yuzuki is like okay we are here currently you know like and we are will be going to uh, you know australia first so see you in australia and then they jump a little bit and it cuts off there and obviously they're going to continue the recording after they go to australia and they're going to do it like that so <laughs> and, and she says from here like you know just from now on she's trying to like you know rehearse the lines she's like oh we are going to like you know australia we are here in australia and kind of <laughs> kind of like you know messing up her lines and everything uh, and she kind of says like the reason why she's messing up like in front of the school she's like oh these people are all my enemies you know i i need to talk like, uh, as as best as i can but here there is no enemies and she's like what am i supposed to do now <laughs> oh boy that was kind of 
yeah all right so that was that and then they kind of talk about like you know their preparations and stuff like and and so here's the thing like they can take 100 kilograms of stuff so i guess like you know people who are lighter they can take a lot more stuff than people who are heavier who, who has to take a lot less stuff so i'm guessing the weight limit is because of the ship i think no no wait no no I don't think it's because of the ship. So why is there a weight limit? Oh, maybe because of the helicopter or something. I, I, I like you know in the opening I can see that there's like helicopters and stuff. So maybe because of that. I don't know. I don't know why there's a weight limit. And probably something like you know like but uh, like you know they they need to like you know keep an eye out on. So yeah. Yeah, it is. It is probably the ship. I think so. It is most probably the ship. Like ship, the ship has like a weight limit or something. Like obviously, like I have no idea about this. You know, like so. I'm. I'm. I think it's probably because of the ship. So they have like a weight limit, like hundred kilograms every person. So they're not the only ones who are going. Obviously, there will be a lot other people as well. Um, like you know the staff, all the other people. So yeah, they they also have a weight limit. I'm I'm guessing that the amount of stuff they can carry. So, yeah, okay, and, <laughs> and then we see Mari <laughs> adding random stuff, like a frying pan and everything. She's like, oh, <laughs> this is like, you know, like, you know, coated with this and that, like, you know, <laughs> and, and she's also like including dictionaries and stuff. And her sister is like, no, just, just leave these. Ask your friends what you're supposed to take and take only those things. Okay, and then she finds out that uh the playstation and I, I thought she was going to take it like I, <laughs> I don't know why i even thought that you know like what will you do by taking a space playstation to antarctica like i don't know why i thought that but i thought she was going to take it with her and then i realized that no like am i dumb or something like why why would someone take a playstation to antarctica like you can't even like you know like there's no electrical outlet in antarctica like what are you supposed to do with it so, or neither there's a TV. So, <laughs> I realized that pretty soon. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, she found that and she took it to Megumi. And okay, so here it starts, you know, this thing. Now, as I said, like, this is one thing, this is like an emotion, which Megumi had because she thought that uh, Mari is someone who has been dependent on her. She's like a big sister to her. And now she suddenly sees that Mari suddenly says that, oh, we're going to Antarctica. She makes some new friends and start making new plans and, you know, go to, uh, what do you call it? Um, <clears throat> you know, like start like, you know, earning money and like, do all of the things and start getting ready for going to Antarctica with her new friends. And she, she's just there. She, she doesn't even know properly what is happening and she feels left out obviously like i can I, like you know we can understand that and here it starts like you know her little envy you know like little amounts of jealousy where she feels that yeah now we can we can see like she's like continuously telling her that are you sure this is going to work you know you you, you better like you know like you better be ready for it because uh, if this doesn't work it's going to like you know mess everything up and she's like, you know, she's kind of, what do you call it? Like holding up the negative things in front of her to make her back out. But we can see that Mari isn't even listening to that. She's like, oh yeah, you're right. Anyways, and she starts talking about Antarctica again. And like, you know, Megumi can see that. And Megumi can understand that like, you know, like, nah, it's, it's, it's not working. Like, you know, she, she has made up her mind to go and she's definitely going to go. So that in turn makes her more frustrated because obviously you cannot say anything like, this. you know, like you, you cannot say why you're pissed off. Like Megumi cannot say what, why she was getting pissed off to uh, Mari. Like, obviously, like, what would she say that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling left out because you're going there, you know, like leaving me over here. Is that what she's going to say? Obviously, like, you know, she, she she with her like what do you call it uh, like pride and everything she could not do that she it's impossible i i like you know like that's why she couldn't say properly what she was feeling to mari and at the same time she is not feeling good 
about whatever that is happening and it's kind of like you know like a mixture of all, everything within her and she's feeling frustrated so you can we see her like you know doing random weird stuff for example the playstation uh, socket she kind of like you know deliberately trips on it and kind of like you know goes out and these type of things and now one thing okay um okay i'll talk about it later uh the next scene we see they are at school you know like they're everyone's giving them flowers and everything and megumi and mari are outside they're talking megumi says that you know what uh there are still people making fun of you and spreading rumors like saying that oh you stole stuff from the mar like you know from the from your part-time job uh you were in shinjuku like you know playing around like all this stuff she's saying and here i kind of realized like i was like i i, I thought that yeah this is kind of either go two ways either she's exaggerating it or she's making this completely up either of it she's doing either of it now it turns out by the end we realized that she was making that up i think i think she either she made me i think she made that up yeah or she's the one who spread the rumors so which which like you know which i kind of realized but i did not realize the full picture i'm going to talk about it um so she says these kind of things and she's like you should like you know like uh clear this up quickly because you're going to go away for three months when you come back it'll go like you know it'll kind of be a disaster so you should like you know like uh, you should probably think about going and this kind of things she was saying like you know like it's very like you know obvious that she is just you know kind of um trying to make her change the mind still even though the next day is the day where they're going to go she's still trying like you know her best to stop her and make her change her mind and <clears throat> And then the other girls come in. She has his pissed. She's like, obviously, she's like, what the hell? Like, who is telling this? Let's go. You know, <laughs> I want to talk to them. This and that. And Meg uh, and uh, Hinata is like, just leave it. Like, you know, people will talk. What else can you do? You know, like you, you can't just like you know, like what will you do? Like go to everyone and like you know, try to stop them. Impossible. Let's just leave it. You know, and let's have a party. <laughs> they invite megumi as well and i oh my god i i i can i cannot i cannot they cannot think about how awkward megumi was feeling here you know why because she's the one who spread the rumors number one you know and she's just here doing in, in the after party oh my god that was like it, it must have felt hella awkward for megumi at that part like you know but yeah <laughs> and then they like you know go to karaoke this and that and all that stuff they go back home while they're walking home megumi and mari uh, megumi talks about how she wanted not to always depend on her mari sorry mari talks about how she wanted to not depend on megumi and how she felt bad all the time always depending on her always just like, you know holding her hand you know and she just leading her and she just following she felt bad about that and how she wanted to move forward on her own like my god like the thing like here is like she's and and she also said that i i, I think you also feel bad for that didn't you that i always just stuck to you you know like didn't you hate that as well while the funny thing here is that is the only thing that Megumi wanted, you know, for her to always keep clinging to her and her, like, you know, uh, just leading her. Now, I have to say, like, this is, this is a very, what can I say, not a healthy relationship. Obviously, the, the thing that was happening, like, you know, Megumi and Mari, you know, at least in Megumi's point of view, this was not a healthy relationship because she, she was basically you know clinging on to mari and at the same time she was also not letting mari like you know be independent like this type of a thing like she kind of says a word later on which very appropriately like, you know sums up the whole situation she says that i was like a your mother 
like you know like there are those overprotective parents who still like you know when even though when their children grow up they try to just cling on to them they like, don't do that don't do this come home by this time this and that even when like you know the your child is a grown up adult you are making up rules for them regulations for them and just restricting their independence that's that's basically what it was you know like that was what megumi was kind of doing you know she was she, she was she was trying to just you know like keep the status quo going where she would always be dragging around mari while at the same time she would not let her go somewhere else like not let her be independent while she herself was depending on mari like it's it's a very unhealthy relationship this was you know both of them would have been stagnant if this continued none of them would have been able to just break free and become independent neither megumi nor mari if this continued so you know this was what was happening and okay the next day we see mari get up you know like every, like you know, her parents are like you know brought them brought her food and everything the sister woke up and you know like every like all the goodbyes and everything she just told everyone comes out megumi is standing there and megumi is like yeah i've i've come to break up our friendship you know and my is like wait why what's happening like it's it's kind of like you know what can i say like uh but i don't feel surprised you know like i, I was going to say like i feel surprised that mari really did not understand you know had no clue what was happening and as i said like no this is not surprising you know because for mari megumi was that one person who she thought that you know like she she thought that yeah i should like you know stop like, clinging to her and become independent she thought that in that manner she i i doubt she even realized that megumi was the one who was actually clinging on to her i doubt she realized that ever and that's why she's so confused she's like why what's happening and now here's where it actually like you know surprised me as well i thought she, the thing that she only did megumi was she only like you know spread the last rumors you know where everything when everything is like you know has happened the thing that she says that oh everyone is talking about you you know you stole stuff you're playing around all that stuff i thought that was the only thing that she made up it's really surprised me today when i realized that she has been doing this from the beginning the, from that day when like you know the 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 money thing from that money incident like you know that 1 million yen incident with shirase it's it's been happening from that day she's doing this that surprised me i i was not expecting that like you know honestly speaking i just thought that she she just did the last one but no and like she's like yeah that's what i've been doing and <clears throat> she's like yeah so i'm here to just you know like break our friendship like i'm finally taking my first step you are also taking your first step and we should like you know like we should stop this and like yeah goodbye and she just said that now i i think like you know at that moment i thought that yeah mari should definitely resolve this you know resolve this and then go to antarctica because if she does not resolve this and goes to antarctica she would probably never be able to mend their friendship back up again never after coming back like you know here after 3 months this would this relationship would be irreparable and that's what i really did not want that's why i was saying at that moment i was saying that just resolve this first and then go like don't go without resolving this because that that would have been like you know like she would, couldn't have she couldn't be come back to the same like you know Uh, like you know like after 3 months she couldn't come back and then repair this relationship it would be irreparable so that's why you know like i was like yeah just talk to her first you know and then go and thank god she did that you know like she she when she was go- when we was going away she was like no you're you know the breakup is rejected <laughs> she just just doesn't even stop to listen to her just walks away and that's the best thing you could do at this point you know just just don't let her say anything you <laughs> just you say your thing and just go away like my god <laughs> like what would she even do at that point like you know and 
like this is a thing uh, where it's like it, the, the symbolism at the end is where well, that scene just a sec okay the symbolism in the end not only in the end but in the beginning of, as well they did the symbolism where there's like a little sand you know like a little pit where there's like water in it and, and the uh, the little boat the uh, leaf boat it's it's all enclosed the water is there and this really shows how where megumi stands and where mari stands megumi like you know made that water stagnant she's the one who just is clinging to it you know, clinging into that relationship, don't not letting the boat move. Her being stagnant, Mari being stagnant, both of being st both of them being stagnant at the same place without moving. While Mari is this person who is likes everything free. She likes to be free. You know, so she kind of like you know makes the uh, sand kind of like you know move, and the water kind of bursts out. And this is where she says that, <clears throat> where is it? Um, water collects, uh, collects into the stagnant pools. I've always loved watching it spill out all at once. Breaking free, liberated, rushing out. The energy stored up during its stagnation bursts forth. Everything springs into action. And yeah, that's, that's what Mari is. You know, she, she just like, you know, moves the sand. Everything just bursts out. Which, while Megumi was like, you know, trying to just contain it contain that small little thing and obviously mari won't stop mari mari just you know made that hole and that stored up energy just burst forth outside and that's basically mari and while megumi is the other one so yeah like that was basically it as i said like you know this this relation like in this whole thing um is kind of relatable i can like you know like i, I can definitely relate to mari's like this emotion where she was like oh i like you know i won't go anywhere i will also stop you from going anywhere we both will be here and she was just like you know like the whole thing of mari thinking that yeah i'm clinging into megumi was actually the opposite where mari was the one who wants to be liberated to be free while megumi was the one who was clinging into this bond kind of stagnating them both and in the end, Megumi herself kind of says that it was not you who was, you know, like clinging into this relationship, making everything stagnant. It was not you who did not have any friends. And, you know, like it was actually me. I was clinging into this relationship. I had no one except you. And that's why I wanted so much to just, you know, like to stop this thing. And that's why I've been trying. And like, you can't blame anyone here, you know, like. It's, it's just like that like she like you know i i feel like uh, this is a thing you know like megumi she she is like you know like kind of like a, what can i say um what do you call them like kind of like a lone wolf you can call her you know like she, the only person she had as friend was mari and mari was also similar to that now this is what actually happens you know like if two people who are bad at making friends you know they make become friends together and you know the two of them are like you know the, the only one that they have is the other one like megumi had mari and mari had megumi and like they're like two friends and they continue like this and if by any chance any one of them gets other friends you know the other person will obviously feel left out that person will be like oh she has more friends now she might not talk to me anymore you know like she like you know like she might spend more time with them and this this will like you know bring bring a weird jealousy a weird envy within the other person like this is not what can i say this is like this is unhealthy but at the same time this is not something what can i say like this is this is normal you can't do anything about it like this jealousy this envy is because the other person loves the other person you know like they're good friends they, they you know their their bond is that great that's why so like you know you can't do anything about it and like that's basically what happened here like two lone people you know two two lonely people um they became friends and one of them got other friends 
so the other one started feeling left out that's basically what happened and that's why the other person tried to stop her from going to antarctica like by doing these type of like you know things like just spreading rumors like you know just all that stuff the whole thing with the money and everything and like like everything failed she realized that you can't do anything about it and she was there standing with the guilt that yeah what type of a friend i am i'm 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 impeding my best friend's path you know just for my own petty jealousy my own petty like you know emotions i'm doing that like th there's a lot of things going on here you know like she cannot tell anything to mari you know she is doing these kind of things she can realize that she's doing these bad things you know the guilt is actually eating at her at the same time and she's realizing that yeah she is going to go away you know i'll be all alone she'll have new friends like everything everything is just on her on megumi and that's why i said i don't blame her i i really don't blame her this is this is just you know like they they just needed to talk properly and i'm i'm glad that they talked in the end you know uh i'm 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 sure this this friendship will still last even when she comes back and i i really hope this like you know friendship continues because the, like you know if 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 mari actually went away without saying anything it would have been a sad you know sad end this would have been a very sad start to the journey and i i really did not want that so i'm really glad that in the end mari said that oh it's rejected and just goes away <laughs> like yeah i'm 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 pretty sure they will be able to salvage this friendship as you know as mari comes back from antarctica and i'm sure they'll be back to be good being good friends again so yeah so yeah that that's just it like oh boy like as i said like you know this this was relatable at least for me you know like this thing of the whole situation like for me this was relatable that's why i i i, I could i i can say that yeah this is this this thing that happened in this today's episode it happens it happens to a lot of people if if it has never happened with you um like you know letting you know that this actually happens these type of things and it's pretty normal you know like that's that's basically what you know like <laughs> people who are like you know what can i say like doesn't have much friends and everything this type of things actually happens so yeah like anyways like this, this was a really good episode i like this one this this was really great oh my god so yeah and we have started our journey uh we're going to australia first and then you know the actual expedition so three months so yeah let's see what happens in the next episode so that was it guys that was my reaction to the uh to episode five of a uh, place further than the universe so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of a place further than the universe until then goodbye and have a nice day